everyone and welcome back to the United Star. We've got Sid with us today and we're going to discuss a very important topic that's close to all Manchester United fans. David De Gea or Dean Henderson. On the one hand, you've got a club legend who's been there over 10 years. He's probably the last player in this team to have won a Premier League with Manchester United. He saved us. He's been the player who's sort of been the difference between us being Arsenal-like and us finishing close to the top four out in the European spots. But he's been on a decline since the last three years. On the other hand, we've got Dean Henderson, up and coming. He's arrogant. He doesn't care about his mistakes. He's got the skill. He's got the quality. He's got, I think, 10 clean sheets in the in the 20 games he's played or 12 clean sheets in the 20 games he's played this season. Is this the moment of reckoning for David De Gea? Are we letting him go, Sid? See, the, the, the fact that we are actually having this conversation itself is appalling because... First of all, I don't see the goalkeeper position as an issue at the club. You know me, I've always been uh, saying that, you know, that the main issue is the centre-back partnership or probably the, uh, the midfield also. And the fact, and I knew the day we gave Dean Henderson that 120 million contract, 120k a week contract, I knew that this was going to be the conversation of the summer. I am so disappointed with the club because all of these leagues that uh, I think in the Manchester Evening News, this came out that, you know, uh, the players, the people in the dressing room want David De Gea out. I don't think this is a case, this is the case, but then, you know, you got to believe them because Manchester Evening News have good connections inside the dressing room. Remember against Brighton, they did get the lineup correct three hours before and Manchester United need to have a long, hard look at the people in that dressing room because I would call them snakes. And there have been reports which say that David De Gea was going to be dropped against uh, West Brom earlier in the season, right? But he, uh, but Ole didn't drop him because David De Gea was disappointed. Now, this is not a slight at David De Gea. This is a slight straight at the manager, right? So whoever this mole in the dressing room is, he is not only taking shots at David De Gea, but he's also questioning the integrity of the manager of Manchester United. Now, what, imagine this is the kind of person we have in the dressing room, right? Now, let's say this news is, even if this news is true, that players are turning on David De Gea, I don't think David De Gea has done anything wrong this season. You are right that he's been on a decline in, for the past three years, but I think David De Gea has improved from what he was last season. He was no, he, he still is nowhere close to his prime, but he's still a really good keeper. And I will advocate for Dean Henderson also and David De Gea also, Right. Both but, of said, them. but said the question then finally boils down to this. Neither of them are willing to be second choice, right? Yeah. Neither of them are willing to be second choice. And it's only respectable to De Gea that we don't make him second choice to a 23-year-old after the sort of career he's had and after the presence he has in the sort of footballing world. So then, if that is the case, and if you have to let one person go, then I do think then the choice has been made. I think then David De Gea will be the one on the way out. Right, but I think it's a very very difficult deal to do. To remove David Aya from the club, he's on 375k a week. It's not a joke to get rid of uh, that much wages, right? And I don't think there is any other club in the world who's going to be pay 375k to David Aya, right? Even but if they you do... say that, you say that, Sid, but we are apparently willing to let go of his two-year contracts. We're willing to essentially to let him go for free then. Exactly my point. So, if... If you, if so, I know this board is all about uh, getting m- money out of all their assets and all, right? They, we are not a football club anymore. We are a business, right? So look at this, okay? Dean Henderson, who's on 120k a week and is about worth 40 million, okay? Many teams will be more interested in Dean Henderson than in David Haya because if you put a price tag of 40 million on David Haya. Okay, yes, teams might be able to match that 40 million, but will they able will they be able to match that 375k a week? Because I don't think David Deha is gonna let go of that 375k a week. All due respect to him, I think he is he should be he should not be the one who's compromising in this situation. I think Manchester United have made this mistake last summer and they are the ones who are going to pay for it. Because let's say PSG come in, right? Now, PSG, obviously, an oil club, they have lots of money. They come in and and United and Ed Woodward goes, or who's that? Murta now. Murta goes like, okay, we want 40 million and uh, David Dea demands 375k a week, right? Now, PSG will go like, okay, we are pay, we'll pay you 40 million, but 375k a week for a keeper is way too much, right? So, 
the compromise will have to be on the uh, transfer price itself but right? said that so, again the question is the question is this is what you want to happen this is all all you've said is what you want to happen now i'm going to ask you two questions this is going questions. to happen this is going no, to this happen this is what I, I, i'm going to ask you two questions uh number one is david de gea out or, or on his way out in the summer and was that decision made in the brighton game when he was not picked people are also saying that he's been given more time off to play with his family where he's not trained enough with the squad and he's been with his family so it was not the case that he was dropped but it was that it was already informed communicated with de gea and de gea also wanted the time off people are also saying that but was that brighton game an indication that de gea is out in the summer question number 1 like when i saw the lineup i was disappointed that david ayer didn't start but i don't think you can really decide depending on one game right you never know david ayer will start against granada this week okay and then probably but he will start again in the week if he starts against granada that means that henderson and de gea have already swapped roles right yes but if, if you've seen like all the smaller games in the league i mean brighton are not so high up in the league all most of the small games in the league it's always henderson who started like yes david de gea started but you know he he can he has that leverage to choose david de gea, david de gea or henderson in those small games so, sir, so again, i think it's, it's just is he it's out just, this summer yes no, or no i don't think so no so oh. then the question is who is going to be our first choice goalkeeper come the next season it has to be david de gea it has to be david de gea because i i think dean henderson coming directly in from sheffield i think if you if you make a case for the end of next season then i would probably say yeah dean henderson is first choice and then i think we can get rid of david de gea but i think dean still needs like another proper season in the league because he are playing for sheffield playing as a keeper for sheffield and playing of uh, as a keeper for manchester united are two extremes like sheffield you are going to face around probably 15 shots a game right but for manchester united because we have a good we have a better defense and all you might not be able you might not have to face that many this, uh, that many shots and in the end like even in those crucial last last minutes of the game right you have to stay focused right now with let's say, with sheffield dean could stay focused because he was constantly getting shots but then if you've seen that and it's not against dean or anything but many times in the in those last minutes i'll tell you one game where he uh, considered in the last minute or in the later stages is the ac milan game that one all draw right where ac milan got the away goal everyone was saying that uh, dean henderson should have saved that right so yes dean henderson is a very good goalkeeper i think he is tipped to be england's number one but he needs to wait a little get more accustomed to you know to the premier league to how uh, the pace is in the premier league and then probably at the end of next season then we can make that decision i was i'm telling you i knew that this would be the conversation this summer and i feel this is a media agenda against david de gea and to so guys you English, heard said guys you heard said he is obviously very angry at the way david de gea has been treated at this club i personally he is my favorite player at the club even after bruno fernandes and all of that but I am telling you that I think personally that David De Gea is on his way out. As much as it pains me to say this, he's been a great servant at the club. He's been a fantastic player. He's an absolute club legend in my opinion. But he is on his way out in my view. And I think Dean Henderson will take the reins from him. And I am excited for the future what Dean Henderson has to offer. But at the same time, I will be bitterly disappointed and sad at the fact that David De Gea has left. And This is my personal opinion. We don't know what will happen. For all you know, Dean Henderson plays till the end of the season and has horrible games, and then De Gea is back in the reckoning. But that's it from us, guys. Do let us know what you all think. Dean Henderson or David hit De Gea. Hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our video. If you do like it, please click on the thumbs up, and please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to get daily notifications from the United Star. follow us on instagram at the.unitedstar and we will see you soon